Hi guys, so this is my first video, and what I want to do right now is I want to show you Minecraft 0.11.1 now. They already made a new update, and I'm a bit late on this, but I still want to show you guys this, and it's my first video. In this channel, I'll be doing a lot of different things, um, mostly Minecraft and servers on Minecraft, but I'll also be showing you other cool games and other cool tricks. Also, like how to record your iPad screen on to for YouTube, like I'm doing right now. So, anyways, let's get started into the video. So, I'm going to go on to one of my worlds. So, it's called Nether. It has nothing to do with anything. Anyways, so, as you see, first of all, I have a diamond sword, which means that they have every single kind of tool and weapon in the new inventory like this. So, diamond, gold, wood, iron, stone, anything. They also have snowballs, which you can throw. And actually, if you throw it at an animal, like a chicken, it would hurt them. So, it does damage. And also what they have is they have a few new sp spawn eggs. So, they have... The bat spawn egg, which is really cool. I love the bats. They're really cool, and they can fly, and they get really high, and it's pretty cool. Next up, they have the squid, which will spawn on on ground, but they will eventually die if you spawn them on ground. I find those really cool, too. They're just And what's weird is they also do have baby squids, and they don't usually have that on the PC version. So let me just spawn one in the water to show you. Then I will show you the cave spider, which isn't much different than a spider. The only difference, it looks a bit different, a slightly different texture, and one of the squids are just dying right now, actually, because they're not in water. But here's the cave spider. It looks a lot like a regular spider. I'll spawn a regular spider to compare them. So cave spiders are smaller than regular spiders, and they have a bit of a different color, and they will poison you when they hit you. So, um, next, what we'll be doing is I'll show you the boats, which are really cool, but the only thing I don't like about them is they're really slow. So, I have one over there, but I'll make one right here, and I'll press board. And how you use the boats is, how to, do, how to use them is that you, there's these two buttons here, and you, if you push both, it'll go straight. And if you let go the right one, it'll turn to the right. If you let go the left one, it'll turn to the left. It's kind of like driving some remote-controlled cars in real life. But this is Minecraft. These are just the controls that they chose. Another cool thing is that you can see the ores moving like this. I find that very cool. So that is the boat. And you can leave it. So I'll just leave the boat right now. Next thing that I have to show you is... So they have the bucket of milk over here which you can actually spawn in just to drink it. It will move all status effects. You have your fishing rod, which you can fish for. I'm not going to wait until it catches a fish because that will take a while. So I'll uncast it. And in your food section, you have the new fish that you can catch. So you have the raw fish, raw salmon, clownfish, puffer fish, cooked fish, cooked salmon, and that's it. Also, you can throw eggs, and there's a 1 in 10 chance that it will spawn a chicken. So I'm going to try to get a chicken to spawn now. Might take a while. But if I do it 10 times, it should work. That missed. So if you hold down on the screen, it will still work. There, a chicken spawned finally. So you see over there, right there. Okay, next on our list is we have the redstone block, or block of redstone, whatever you want to call it. I find it pretty cool. It doesn't do anything, it's just a compact way to store redstone. It isn't that cool, but yeah. Anyways. So next we have, so these are just the block list, it's the same. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to skins. Now, in another one of my videos, 
I'll show you other custom skins. I have a custom skin on right now, actually. It's a pig with suit and glasses. So, yeah. So, it comes with Steve, Alex, and then they have two different skin packs that it comes with. They'll probably make more eventually. So, there's the City Folk skin pack, and each skin pack comes with five free skins. So, you have the Barmaid, the Barman, the Baron, the Baroness, and the Blacksmith. So, those are your five free ones for the City Folk. And town folk, which I don't really understand what's the difference, like pretty much the same. So there's a bandit, there's a bard, there's a castaway, there's a farmer and a forester. And most of these are in the PC version and Xbox 360 version for skins, so they haven't really changed them. And I can show you an app that gets you custom skins, but that will be in another one of our videos. Also, a lot of the servers have improved, and I'll be showing reviews for them in my videos, later videos. And that's pretty much it. There also is language support for English, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, and Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. So that's good for all these, all you foreign people that speak English but would rather have it in your um, own language, in your first language. That's pretty much it. The options, one more thing is that, yeah, the worlds automatically have a delete button here. And the world, those are the servers. And your worlds have an edit button which you can change between creative and survival. So I'll go to, what I'll do is I'll go back to my nether world and I'll edit it. And I'll go to survival mode to prove this, that it, this is real. Because we've well, probably already seen this update. I'll go in it and now I am in survival. I just lost some fall damage and you can see my skin right here my hand over there a bit so that is the 0.11.0 .0 update thanks for watching i'll see you next time